Oil, the lifeblood of the world. We drill for it, refine it, store it, pipe it. We ship it by trucks, by trains, and by cargo ships. But sometimes, the oil fields become toxic wastelands. Here, the oil slowly seeps down into the ground, polluting our ecosystem. And sometimes, the pipelines burst, saturating vast remote areas, and sometimes in areas that are close to our homes. And sometimes, the oil trucks crash, the trains derail, and the cargo ships sink. Sometimes catastrophe hits us on a scale that seems larger than life itself, polluting our beaches, our rivers, our estuaries, our marshes, our mangroves, and the marine life that live there. Vast resources are mobilized in an effort to clean up the spills, but less than 25% of it is ever recovered. Every day, news reports tell us that these spills are happening not only around us, but all around our planet, and at an alarming rate. While our governments try to figure out the best way to deal with the spills, they allow chemicals to be used that are more toxic than the oil spill itself. Besides depleting the water of oxygen and causing microbial imbalances, these chemicals mainly sink the oil to the bottom of the ocean floor, killing all life there before rolling onto our beaches in the form of tar balls. One study shows that this out of sight, out of mind approach makes the overall situation 52 times worse than to have done nothing at all. Lobbyists payoffs and crooked politicians have made it all but impossible for smaller businesses to introduce new and safer treatments. There are only three basic ways to treat oil spills. The first one is with the use of absorbents. Absorbents come in many forms and are used to move the oil from one place to another. The toxic waste is contained in bags or drums and shipped off to a dump site where it will eventually leak out and seep down into our ecosystem. A degreaser is just oil that's been refined into a solvent. Lighter oils can break down or liquefy heavier spills. Again, moving it from one place to another. We use degreasers to clean our car engines and other greasy items around the house. But the runoff gets washed down into our sewers. Both small businesses and large businesses use degreasers on an industrial level. But many times it's not contained and also enters into our ecosystem, eventually polluting the very water we drink. To handle the larger spills, many companies are using microbes, enzymes and nutrients to eat the oil molecules. While these tactics do consume the oil, they also cause serious imbalances to the ecosystem, which can have negative and unforeseen consequences to the environment, which we only find out about later. The world's survival depends on the natural cycle of decomposition to break down what is dead and then reintroduce it back as a healthy medium ready to support new life. De-Oilet uses that same environmental principle to safely eliminate fuel and oil spills with absolutely no toxic waste left to deal with. How? It breaks down hydrocarbons to their basic elements. The byproduct is eco-friendly water and carbon dioxide which has become inert and biodegradable. What was once a substance that killed off all bacteria will now be completely consumed by it. Ed, the results of what has happened, please look and see the carbon that it is breaking down into. 
That dust you're seeing is harmless carbon dust of which the earth is made of. Absolutely no negative impact to our environment. The oil continues to float atop the water until it has become dust, then it drops to the bottom, thereby causing no harm to the environment, whether it be marine, the water table, or vegetation. This product is safe to use in every respect. This is the solution to any and every oil spill, particularly what we are going through right now in Trinidad. The oil it is non-toxic and completely biodegradable. It does not contain any solvents, microbes, enzymes, nutrients or other harmful chemicals. The oil it is also safe to use. It does not irritate the skin or act as a transmitter for oil to penetrate through it. To learn more, go to our website, deoilit.com. That's deoilit.com.